Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sadie and today we've got a very, very exciting video. We're finally reviewing, not finally, it hasn't even come out yet, it's coming out today, the Jeffree Star Star Wedding Eyeshadow Palette. Obviously I've been kindly sent this collection. I'm very, very excited about this video. I'm so happy to be back filming. And uh, yeah, let's just get on with the video. The first part of the video is gonna be some swatches, tutorial, and at the end of the video, I give my final thoughts and opinions. So let's get on with it. Please ignore my swatches. My hair literally just got in this and I cannot be bothered to take this off again. But I just wanna say all of these are one swipe. So the first six is of the Lord of Lipsticks and the other six are the liquid eyeshadows. These are all one swipe. The first shade you've got is Pomeranian Kiss. Finally, down the aisle and tax break then you have feeling so innocent and holy matrimony in the velour liquid lipsticks in the star liquid eyeshadows you've got white wedding behind the veil sorry it's that one favorite frosting bachelorette party toss my bouquet and nude honeymoon okay then for the star eyeshadow palette these are the first two rows from left to right you've got grand entrance cut the cake seat and chart star vows hors de verse is that how you say it i don't know save the date Wedding rings, gold blooded, committed, and round together. Right, here we are finally sitting down recording the doing a review. I'm so so excited and so happy to be finally sat down and making content and i'm just so over the moon that i'm even just sat down doing this so uh also we're going to be reviewing the star wedding collection i received this the other day so i've got a little bit of time off so i can finally film this review but we are going to first try the jeffree star cosmetics vitamin c perfecting serum so this is what the packaging looks like don't get me wrong i have no idea why this is green i feel like i don't know i don't like it i'm not a huge fan of it i thought it was going to be a little bit more how can i say this not in a bad way but like, i thought it'd be a little bit more extra i just find it a little bit weird compared to the rest of his skincare i thought it'd sort of link in with the pink blah 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 i legit haven't even opened this yet so very very first impressions this is what the outer carton looks like so that's what i mean it's not related to the wedding collection even though it has come out so it's it still is normal jeffree star skin packaging so that's why i was kind of hoping it would just be kind of normal ignore my best make this come along every time i do a review jsc a spot comes so you get 50 mil in this and it is 52 dollars now don't get me wrong I was quite shocked at that price. I think that's way too much money for a serum. I, I don't know, for what he's been preaching about like making it more affordable, like his cleansing balms, like $36 and the rest is like, his moisturizer alone is $28. I completely understand serums are more expensive, but I don't know, I do feel like that was quite the jump for $52. Obviously I will keep on trying this and testing it for you guys. Obviously it is a first impression. I can't say that this is going to be probably mind blowing, but we all get what I mean and we'll go from there. So it has vitamin C in it, um, amino acid blend, licorice root, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E and niacinamide. It says it soothes, brightens and balances an even skin tone. So my, I've got to be honest, I've been very, very naughty with my skincare. I've barely done anything i know please don't shoot me um i just literally haven't had time i'm so tired i just go straight to bed but anyway jeffree star skin definitely made a huge difference to my skin it is not as red anymore i am very very freckly and red at the moment because i've been out in the sun it definitely helped my redness helped my pores but i do feel like it's just gone back to normal because i haven't been keeping up to date with my skincare all right let's check this bad boy on my face okay i've put like three pumps on there and i like can't get over the texture of this it feels very nice but also i can't get over that it's green this smells really really nice it does smell like orange although you have to smell i don't like nice goes into the skin really really well okay it's like sitting on the top of my skin um i mean it's okay it's got like a glow to it definitely but 
like I said, it just feels nice. It doesn't, it's quite cooling actually. The moment I'm sat here, like my face is going cooler. Um, so yeah, I definitely keep on giving that a go and see how far we get with it and see if it improves my skin. All right, so I've primed my eyes with P. Louise Base. Um, I'm literally going to do this as how I would actually do my wedding makeup. I already got the idea of what I'd actually do, so yeah. And then obviously, no, uh, I've been engaged to Dan for God like five, six years now. I can't even remember how long we've been engaged for. Um, actually, it's coming up to the anniversary. We got engaged on the 31st of August. So this is what it looks like. It just literally looks like orgy, blood sugar, and cremated. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, I, as as much as I love Jeffrey being a bit odd with his stuff i do wish that bright pink was taken out of this palette and like a more goldy sort of tone was put in here um but other than that it does look absolutely stunning it is very very nice okay so the first shade i'm going to go in with is i do and that's come out a lot darker than i expected never mind Right, that actually looks fucking grey black. It's not, it's brown in the palette. What the fuck? Oh, that was darker than I expected, but it's fine. We'll go in with more shades and try and fix it like that. Looking at this palette, I just feel like I still wouldn't use this. It'd be orgy. I just feel like all the shades I want are in orgy. Like, I'd probably use a mixture of this, but I don't know. I'm, like, looking for another brown, like, uh, but it's not in here. But I, it could be this one. I'm going to try this one. Okay, the next shade I'm going to go in with is Committed. And I'm sort of just going to blend the edges, like, 50-50 here. Yeah, this is way too cool time for me. Fuck it down. The next shade I'm going to go in with is Save the Date. And just hope that I like it a bit more than this. Okay, that's better. That's sort of what I wanted more now. I misjudged. I misjudged. Still not exactly what I'd want, but closer to what I was thinking. And yes, I will be doing my own wedding makeup. No one's touching my face when I get married. Just as like a brow brown shade, I'm going to go in with Cut the Cake. Okay, then we're gonna delve into the Liquid Star Shadows. This is in White Wedding. And I'm basically just gonna pop this on the inner corner part of the eye. And we'll see how well this blends and dries. Hopefully, I'll do it all in time. Okay, put way too much on. But that has certainly brightened my inner corner. Oh, I quite like that. Ooh, okay. Like with a bit of powder on top, it'd look really, really nice. So all of my lid, I'm going to take the shade Grand Entrance. That is a stunning shade. So yeah, this is the shade I feel like needed to be an orgy. I feel like even though yes, there was loads of nudes, I just don't feel like the right that top row, like the shades went right. This is beautiful. I'm going to say that that's pretty much like a perfect lid shade. Love that. And just because I put the white in the inner corner, I am going to put that Cut the Cake shade there as well. Oh my god. Love that as an inner corner shade. Oh my god. So I have to have something shimmery on my lid. And I'm going to go in with Favourite Frosting, which is another liquid shadow. This is like kind of like a perfect goldy sort of tone for the lid. And I'm basically just going to put that on my crease area, but I still wanted um, a base underneath it. Just from swatching some of these. Um, some of them are more toppers more than anything. So just straight from there, I'm gonna put it on my lid. Well, that is stunning. Oh my god, oh my god, I love this. Just as it's still wet, I'm gonna see if I can quickly blend this out because I don't want harsh lines or anything. Wow. I hope that's like showing on camera how beautiful that is. Oh, okay. Wow, that is stunning. I do feel like I need to put a bit more on now because I feel like obviously we're taking like a little bit away from the using the brush but that is beautiful like revolutionary no like instantly I think of like the steeler liquid whatever they're called but this is a beautiful shade we get married all right just with the brush I use for grant entrance I'm going to pick up that first shade no not mm, save the date shade and I'm going to blend that more into here just so I've got that bit of warmth in my lid area as well. Okay, so I've primed into my eyes. I'm just basically going to do like what I've done on the top to the bottom.
Okay, I do feel like I have to be a little bit extra and I feel like I have to use this shade. So this is another liquid star shadow in the shade behind the veil. This, when I saw this, I fucking gagged. I don't know if you can see all the different colours and tones in this, but oh my god, it is stunning. Okay, so we've popped some in the corner. I'm going to get a little brush now and try and blend that out. Obviously, it's like gone greeny, which I'm fine with. I kind of live for it. Like I said, this is more of a topper. Like, this is stunning. It'd be like stunning with like a different look. What I'm going to just quickly do off camera is just put like, I'm not going to go so, oh, I know I will wear a wing on my wedding day. I'm going to put a wing on with my Inglot liner and I'll be right back. Okay, I lie. I'm going to just do like a thicker outer corner and I'm going to get another brush and I'm going to take that very first shade that I use, which was I do, and I'm going to try and blend it into that black just so it creates that sort of still smoky intense like look okay so i managed to do that and i popped a bit of um flat proof mascara on as well of course i'm wearing lashes so i just chucked the mascara on really really um quickly but can i just say i'm loving this look it's still a bit too cool tone for me i'd go more warmer than this um but i am really really liking this so so far but i thought let's be a little bit more extra let's put a little bit more on to show you a bit more of the products because uh, as much as i try and use as much as i can it's i don't want to use every single shade just for a review i want to do the makeup how i want to do it and i will just gradually show up things for more tutorials um so i thought why don't i go in with maybe finally in the waterline what do you all think or should i go in darker with tax break let's go with tax break i feel like it needs to be a bit more smokier so it just pops on the back of my hand and i've just got a fine liner brush i'm gonna put that on my waterline see like this is such a warm shade and it's too warm for the look i'm gonna leave it i was gonna put black in but i'm just gonna leave it as it is it is what it is. If I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm not going to change it now. Right, I'm going to quickly pop on my Darby Eva lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so that is practically my eyes done. Um, I love this. And yes, before anyone says anything, I literally would be like this extra on my wedding day. I'd have massive lashes. I would yeah i would definitely wear this on my wedding day just not as dark um i'd still have like a deep outer corner but like this is just a bit too cool for me i'd have it more of a warmer version um i've always said orgy would be probably my wedding day palette with a few shimmers for this part of the, the video i'm gonna do the lip swatches with my mate um because i don't want to do my base makeup and then do lip swatches so i'd rather just do it when i have no base on so it doesn't mess everything up even though in the beginning of the video i showed you on my arm i'm gonna show you um, them on the lips because obviously they change differently on my lips normally they go a bit more darker okay so the first shade we're going to go in with is Pomeranian Kiss next shade we've got is Down the Aisle next shade we have is Finally Tax break. Feeling so innocent. And lastly, holy matrimony. Right, now that that's done, I'm going to quickly go off camera and do my base and we'll be back to put a lippy on and we're going to talk about all the products and my thoughts and opinions. All right, so the base is done. I've got on Urban Decay Foundation, a little bit of a mixture of like Charlotte Tilbury Contour, P. Louise Blush. I obviously got my ice cold highlighter on and I actually have got uh, magic star concealer on as well so for the lip i'm going to take pomeranian kiss because it is just a lighter shade and it's the one i prefer out of all of them so i'm going to pop that on to finish the look all 
All right, so we got that on. And now the very last thing to use is the Jeffree Star Wedding Proof Sense, right? Can't talk, for God's sake. I'm gonna shake it anyway and give us a quick spritz. Oh my God, that came out really fast. Mmm. Oh my God, that smells so nice. Oh my God. Mmm. Mm -mm. very very orangey sort of scent really really nice i like that a lot i kind of like how he's incorporated that sort of same smell and like the serum and the setting spray oh i can still smell it it is really really nice i don't obviously feel anything on my face different but obviously in the next video i'll let you guys know how long this stays on but yeah that is basically my whole entire look finished i really really like how it looks what we shall now do is let's talk for everything let's go into more detail let me give you my final thoughts and opinion i absolutely love how this turned out like i said it's a lot more cool tone than what i'd normally go for but i really really do like it i think my skin looks really really nice and flawless my eyes look really nice like yeah i, I mean it's nothing special i mean i haven't gone overboard um like how i normally would do because i was like do I incorporate the pink in my look but no we still weren't quite like i want to say basic this is basic for me um but yeah i really really like the finish overall so the first thing i'm just going to start off because it's in my hand is the mirror so here is the box it comes in are you the is it unicarton whatever it calls so it's got like the lace detail on it um quite nice and big got the diamond shape in it like i said these go for 30 dollars um i mean i really really like it it's nothing special I kind of I do like that it, it is a diamond like so I'm just not a fan of the actual like I don't know up close it just looks really weird and it re weirds me out but I, I love all of his mirrors because they're just really nice and handy to hold and use so yeah and like so they've all got the little holes you can hang them up next we're going to talk about is tumblr and I'm so excited because I actually don't own a Jeffree Star tumblr and this is the first time he's actually sent the tumblers with us so like yeah so that's the whole packaging i don't know if i should say this because it might come off like pretty wrong but i would like to know what dead relative jeffrey dug up of mine to get their curtains because <laughs> i'm joking it's lace and i'm probably gonna offend loads of people who wore lace on their wedding day and i'm so so sorry lace just ain't it for me i shit you not these are literally the curtains i grew up with like exactly the same pattern these were on my curtains and in fact jeffrey give me trauma actually give me some mild childhood trauma but i love it um i wish it kind of was different i actually envisioned this looking exactly how this did i kind of wish this was the tumbler like with just that sort of translucent feel to it with like the wedding and the star i i would have preferred it more but i'm definitely going to be using this i love the size of this these goes for 20 dollars, so i don't know how much they are in the uk but i mean it's nice and sturdy i really really love it like i use my p louise one to death so i'm definitely gonna enjoy this it has a little star on it as well like i said i kind of just wish it <laughs> it was just not lace i just hate lace i'm sorry let's talk about the main guy the star wedding i should have had it so here's a unicarton for it so you've got the lace on the front in black and the rest is white with silver and like i said the actual packaging alone is silver chrome as well i love the detail in this i love how it's got like a cute little ring on it like this is raised a little bit i don't like the chrome i don't like the chrome of this i i kind of wish it was white imagine this being like white leather maybe but i've got to admit this is heavy throw this at someone's head you're gonna kill someone not that i recommend you to do it but this is really really heavy i love the little jewel i'm not into kind of stuff like this i gotta admit when i watched the video i was like meh but i gotta admit in real life it actually the quality is really really nice it's nice and sturdy it's like i said it's i think it's one of his heaviest palettes he's ever bought out i know i haven't used a lot of shades in this i will do more tutorials when i have the time um but like i said i am kind of disappointed in the color story I just wish this bright pink wasn't there. I really wish. I don't feel like in his palettes recently he hasn't got like a good gold. Like from someone who's done freelancing and bridal, there's always like this beautiful shimmery gold, which is sort of why I went in with a liquid, because it is that more shade that I have used more on bridal. Um, but it does kind of remind me of cremated and orgy and blood sugar all in one i'm not kind of mad at it but i do feel like that bright pink shouldn't be in it i i think the palette would have been perfect if it wasn't for the bright pink and it makes me sad because we all know jeffrey's pink and 
blah 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 but I kind of just wish it was an actual wedding palette I've always said I wanted an orgy with shimmer whoa that sounded wrong I've always wanted an orgy palette with the shimmers in them and I think that would have been absolutely perfect even including the deeper shades like the cremated ones because then it is like a really good all around I will admit I feel like the colours went a lot more cool tone on me and I feel like they were a lot more darker in on my eyes and in the shade like I said I put I do on and it's a brown and it literally looks it's black on my eyes and I even though I like it and I mean and like I said I know I haven't used everything but like they're more pink tone they're more like blood sugar vibes the rest and I do feel like I feel I still feel like there's there's a missing transition shade in this eyeshadow palette but I'm definitely going to keep on playing with this. Um, the formula is really, really nice. It kind of does feel like it's older formulas. Um, and uh, yeah, I had no problem with it. I'm not. The thing is, I'm not blown away with it because it's a neutral palette. But I don't mean that in a bad way. But I could have done this with any other eyeshadow palette. And even Jeffrey says in his, his video, you know, he's done all the, the colour stories. And I completely agree. I think, you know, there is a time and place where palettes will look the same. Because the colours are colours. And yeah, you know what I mean overall the formula is really really buttery it blended out really well i do feel like the i do shade did take a little bit of work into blend out but it worked out and i'm really really happy with the outcome of my look this retails for 62 dollars i've got to admit i stink what what is wrong with me i feel like 62 dollars is quite a lot of money when i saw it and now that i've got it in my hand this is hefty it is weighty it's obviously more eyeshadows than it's 18 pan it's a 25 pan eyeshadow palette i do feel like it's worth i want to maybe put it at 62 or maybe put it like 60 or just under maybe 58 dollars um but yeah i really really do like this i'm gonna play with it more i recommend it but i don't at the same time it's it's a really hard situation like i want to say like because for me personally for my color story i would still go over orgy palette for the mattes than this one but i love the shimmers in here and it would be an overall okay i should have palette day to day as well next i'm going to talk about is the jeffree star skin perfecting serum okay so like i said this has got vitamin c in it it helps reduce redness i can't get out of the box like i said the box is the same it's chrome and then i'll say and i spoke briefly about this earlier in my video um I give you all like the little bits are in there. Fifty-two dollars. I find that quite a lot. Although I gotta admit, like the serums I use are so much more money. So I've got to give it to them that it's obviously cheaper than most. I mean, if you look at bloody Advanced Night Repair Jennifer from Lancome, you know they're you're looking at nearly a hundred pound for a serum. And I just don't know. I think it's such a jump from his original skincare that I think it could put people off. And I also think the green could. Obviously, yes, when you rubbed into the skin, it vanished. It didn't stay green on my skin, which is absolutely fine. It smelled really nice, although it did have a weird after smell. My skin looks really, really nice with it, but I'm not going to give you a full prediction. I'll, I'll later on give you a, an updated skincare video i think i need to do that anyway from just his previous skincare and update you all with how i felt about it because i haven't updated anyone about like the banana moisturizer the rest of his skincare i absolutely adore i don't know i i i do just feel like this could possibly put people off but i'm gonna keep on trying it i'll keep an update in you guys but yeah this was 52 dollars and I do believe the the claims i do believe it probably does work and it would be really really good just due to his previous using of his skincare um but I, I do just wish the packaging was different i don't know i i kind of just loved the pink aesthetic so it just does seem like not part of his normal skincare range okay next thing we're going to talk about is the liquid star eyeshadow so this retails for 20 dollars and i kind of love the packaging but i don't he put this plastic bit here and i think it just lost it for me there he should have just left that blank so you could actually feel the product inside apart from the rest of it this feels really nice it's got like a weird matte um sort of texture to it really really nice and i absolutely love the component of these i love how sleek it is i love you can see the color i love the star i love the writing i really really do like the packaging of these i love how simple it is i love how simple the dofa is dofa is really really nice and easy to use it doesn't have a like incredible loads amount of products so it doesn't overflow on the dofa applicator these are stunning it does remind me of the Stila um, liquid eyeshadows as well. I got to admit, I completely forgot to use the matte ones in my tutorial. I was going to use one and then blend one eyeshadow on top, but from my swatches and even like my photo I put up yesterday, these are incredibly creamy and pigmented, and 
I feel like I, I'm sorry. I I was gonna I was gonna use them out when I'm really really sorry. But I do feel like the way he swatched it and blended it in his video it looked incredible and even like i said that small amount i put on with the white wedding it blended so well and it would have kept on going and i i'm definitely gonna probably play with these more and i feel like these will probably become a staple in my collection now let's talk about the Valora liquid lipsticks they come in exactly the same original packaging with the name on top these come in chrome as well i was so happy that you bought a Valora liquid lipsticks as we all know Valora liquid lipsticks are like my favorite thing from jeffree star cosmetics i wear Valora liquid lipsticks in every single photo i i love them and mannequin probably would be my um wedding lipstick i just love it and i know it'll stay on all day i love the colors of this done a color so for sort of like every skin tone so you've got like pale to really deep tones and then you've got like your bit of pinks i know a lot of people like to wear like that little bit of pink but i'm so happy you finally bought out some Valorant lipsticks i really think we needed some as well i think the past collections we've we've missed on some lips and i'm so glad he's bought these out and i love pomeranian kiss we all know i love the Valorant lipsticks I think they're the best liquid lipstick formula going, so I can't say much. And last but not least, let's talk about the Wedding Proof Setting Spray. Love the packaging of this. I've already broke it because I dropped it, unfortunately. The smell of this is absolutely incredible. I love, like, the orange scent to it. Oh, it just smells so good. It reminds me of, like, uh, one of those drinks. I can't remember what it is. Kind of reminds me of childhood, like the childhood orangey sweetie drinks. Obviously, it's only my first time using it. I don't know if it is going to be like super duper wedding proof or blah, blah, blah. But I'll definitely try this because normally when I go to work, my makeup's on 5 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night. So I'll definitely give this a go and let you guys know. So this retails for $26. Like I said, I really like the packaging. Mine got a bit banged up in delivery. Um, and yeah, I just really, really like it. I don't know if I like it more still as the Holy Mist. The Holy Mist smell for me is just the best but it doesn't have like massive claims it literally just says set your face into place for any special occasion and last but not least he bought out some blotting paper for ten dollars am i completely oblivious did i miss this in the video i was like when i was going through instagram i was like what the fuck is that i completely missed this in the video so i didn't even know this existed until it really like popped up on my doorstep um i'm too scared to use these right now because I used the Fenty ones and they took off my fucking makeup when I blotted. So I'm going to try these another time and I'll let you guys know. But it doesn't say how many... Oh, it's strawberry cotton candy scented. Oh my god, it is. Oh, cute. I didn't know that. It was strawberry scented. Um, it doesn't really say much. It's got 50 sheets, actually. That's quite good. I know for ten dollars it's going to be like what nine pounds here in the uk and you can get like uh boots own ones for like four pound and there's only like 10 sheets in there so that's actually a really really good price for all of these um and i think that is the whole entire collection so would i recommend this collection absolutely i think it's a really really nice collection i think it is um definitely he's put it well together um i do think though with the eyeshadow palette just saying have a think about it if you feel like you're not going to use most of those shades but you have most of them it's quite understandably fair enough if you don't want to buy this eyeshadow palette. It seems as it is more expensive than these other ones. Um, but I really do like it. It's really nice and heavy. And I do feel like day to day I probably will use that a lot. I think I'm definitely going to have a combination with that and Orgy. Um, just being like my day to day eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love the look that the liquid eyeshadow has on my eyes. They're so sparkly. They're so glittery. It's completely different to the eye gloss. The eye gloss, like so. Um, I have got a video on the eye glosses if you want to watch that. I love the eye glosses. They've got such a bad rep and I don't understand why. I think they're absolutely stunning. Um, but it's like they look like a normal eyeshadow but until you hit the light. Whereas this is just stunning and it's glittery like I said really reminds me of the Steeler and I have to admit it's hardly creased and that's very very good the fact that I've put it above my crease as well it stayed on really well and it's it went on quite nicely over top of a matte eyeshadow so I'd recommend this yes 100% recommend for all the good lipsticks 100% um I probably would recommend setting spray. I use the Holy Mist anyway as a setting spray and my makeup stays on really, really well. I just think the collection as a whole is actually really nice. There's certain little bits to it I don't like, like I said, with the lace. I, But that's just like my personal thing. I don't like it and it kind of puts me off, but it doesn't at the same time. I, I don't like the chrome. I've never liked chrome. Me and my partner are exactly the same. Like, if we see chrome on a car, we're like, oh, hate it. So, little things like that, but that's just my personal, like, 
pet peeves of the whole entire collection but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video guys it's so glad to be back and if you are new here i really hope you enjoyed this video yeah if you like guys like see anything else more from me what you also want to see from the collection any questions pop them down below and i'll try my best to answer this collection comes out today which is I don't know, what's the date? 26th, there we go. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.